Hey, strains are fun. I'm going to attempt something that I should have tried like a long time ago. Um, in fact, I think maybe I did once when I was a teenager. But I'm going to try to build a kit, and I try. I'm going to start with what supposedly is an easy one. It is a Roundhouse Products Quality HO Scale Kit. Precision engineer, easy to assemble, fun to run. <laughs> So let's see which one I got here. Ah, uh, it's a Southern box car. All right, I used to love seeing these run past my house, or not past my house, past the railroad near my house, with that Southern with the green dot on the O. So we get this part. There's the weight. There's the wheels. And there's this part. And there's the instructions. Will I be able? Oh no, it requires glue. All right, first remove paint from area which is going to be glued onto and use glue sparingly. Oh, dang it. This is harder than I thought. So I have got to get some glue. So take this part off. Is that how I take it off? So this looks like it goes to the coupler. These parts go with the coupler. This is the part that holds the weight down. This is the little brake wheel. So what kind of glue do I use? Do I use plastic glue? I need to get some plastic glue. Yeah, definitely it's going to need glue. I don't think that's going to... Well, you know what? I'm going to roll with it for now. I don't turn it upside down. It'll probably be all right for now. I can glue it later. So, what do I do next? <laughs> Should I put the wheels on first? Ooh. I'm going to do the wheels. Looks like it goes there. And then which screw? One quarter inch screw. So the longer screw... It's for the wheels. Oh, come on. Oh. Don't need a little screwdriver. Hold on. Got a little screwdriver here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should put the coupler on first. Coupler's on first. Alright. So the little... This is total novice, total amateur doing this, so sorry <laughs> if this is taking a long time. So this will be the smaller screw. Come on. My hands are not made for this. Oh, I know what. Do it this way. Put that on first. And then put it over this. It'd be easier if I wasn't recording it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. This is the part of modeling. I'm just not a very good uh, precision builder. <laughs> I just like watching them roll. <laughs> but it's working. I'm getting it on there. Don't want to get it too tight that I break it. Oh, it's too tight. It's way too tight. Shouldn't that be springy? I guess I broke it. There we go. That'll do. Now we'll put this one on. Dang it. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like that's going to fall apart. All right, the other coupler. to use the small one. Oh, did I mix those up on the where did the other small one go? There it is. Alright, let's try this the right way. Sorry my eyesight's bad. My hand eye coordination's bad. I can't do it. This is an easy kit. What am I going to do when it's a hard kit? Oh, camera's in the way. <laughs> Alright. Get it started. Oh, no. Straighten it out. Alright, here we go. Oh, put the wheels on. Whoo, has anybody ever built a kit? I'm terrible. This is the easy kit. What am I going to do when it's a hard kit? I lost the screw. There it is. This is a roundhouse hobbies kit. I've probably had it for, I don't know, probably at least 20 years, I'm guessing. Pretty sure I've had it. I don't know what the date is on this thing, but I imagine I've had this in a box in my basement for the last 20 years. Mm. Let me tighten that up a little bit. All right, so we got that part done. Now we got to put this. How does this go? There's got to be a way to hold it. It fit. Put the little brake wheel on. I think that's what it's called. It's right there. Try not to break it. It's not working. I wonder if you're supposed to glue this. There. I built it. I built a box car. It only took like 10 minutes. Probably should only take like two minutes to build it. <laughs> so the roundhouse kits are definitely uh, beginner level. Uh, I know it took me a while to do it, but really not much to it. But the only thing we need to do now is go put it on the layout and see if it runs. All right, put this thing on here. Oh, it rolls good. Perfect. So this does remind me of the 70s, looking at these boxcars driving past on the Southern Railroad. I didn't get a Southern locomotive out. I got an L and N, but I think it's neat. I need to build more of these. Seems to be working. So the other kits I had, I got another Southern similar style. I have flat car, or actually this is like a pulpwood style car, or lumber car, or something. Bulkhead flat car. Oh, and I do have more kits, and some of them may be harder to build. I'm pretty sure these Proto, these are, I think, really hard in a pain. I think they're very hard. Uh, so, obviously, these are good. Aetherm kits, are these kits? I don't even know. Stuff's been in my basement forever. It's an auto loader. 
Looks like it's already built. Is it already built? No, it's just gotta. Oh, all you gotta do is put the couplers on. Oh, I'm gonna put that one on there. Looks like that just pops off. Yep. See if I can pop it back on there. Oops, upside down. I'll take these off here. This one either I don't know if, I don't recall ever building these. I don't even remember having this. Let alone building it, so see how this I can put this back on here. Oh, this is hard. Why I was not cut out to be a a modeler. I have a total lack of patience. <laughs> I want it done. I want it done now. I don't want to struggle with it. There we go. Got it done. So there's the auto loader. I need an auto to put on here. Oh, that's too big. It's too heavy. Boom. Uh oh, my coupler is not working right. Oh, whoa. They're not this. What's going on there? Oh, man. They're not lining up. I think that'll work. Alright, I built another one. It's a lot easier to build off camera. Still not happy the way these couplers are doing. I must be doing something wrong. Oh, it's hanging too low. Ooh, that's not good. It's touching that. I probably need to trim that piece off a little bit. It's just... Yeah, it's hanging too low. But we'll go ahead and run it the way it is. Come on. Oh, this one's too high. There we go. Too low. Oh, come on. I'm terrible at building stuff. Well, I got three cars built that I didn't have built before. Do you want me to build them? Well, I am going to build them. I might as well go ahead and build all the kits, but that'll be for another thing. See how long a freight train I can make. Is that what you want to see? So it wasn't that hard. Still need to figure out the couplers. I'm not really happy with how they're holding up. If anybody knows anything else, maybe I should read the instructions better. But yeah, they're kind of loose. I don't like the way that did. And you see what happens. <laughs> oh, that screw's coming out. Totally didn't do that one right. Well, I'll keep working on it. Just wanted to show you uh, some kits I've had in my collection for a really long time. And I guess this is why I'd never built them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Trains are fun. You're on the wrong track. See if I can join this up. I bet you it won't. <gasps> nope. Couplers are all messed up. No. So we got a couple of letters from. It looks like they're from the new storyteller. That's in. Yeah, I think this is. I'm thinking this is new storyteller, but we will see here. I'm gonna open these up. There's two of them. They came today together the two separate envelopes let's see what we got here like some art paper or something oh my goodness <laughs> let's see two trains are fun <laughs> oh man he said oh dang I got to sort my letters <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm way behind on this. I hope you've sorted a lot of the letters. They can get stuck, and I laughed to see you had fall down. <laughs> Plus, when you said you had a lot of times from, in, from the new storyteller. TNST. The new storyteller. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is that me? <laughs> Am I a meme? 
Now let's look at this other one. Another big litter. He's got a YouTube channel. Been on there a long time if you want to check out your storyteller. Let's see what this is. Uh oh. Alright. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about. It says, Dear Trains Are Fun. Have you heard I've celebrated 10 years on YouTube? I uploaded a video about it and sold my dollhouse after I did the last episode of Gumby the 2000. Sad, really. Can you send me a letter to cheer me on from the new storyteller? And I do apologize. I know a lot of people have sent me letters, and I've not sent letters back so um yeah i guess i should have been doing that so i got your address right here so let me remind me again <laughs> but congratulations on 10 years on youtube and here's a picture he sent me which is gumby <laughs> pokey and a dinosaur thing. I don't know all the characters in Gumby. So he did a series on his channel. That's what he said. Gumby the 2000s. Is this a letter? It's a story. Like it, it just put it on the back. I don't think this is to me. Alright. It's just a story on the back. So thank you new storyteller. For the mail. That will go in my mail file. Oh, this, although this one's too big. <laughs> this will fit in my notebooks. This one's too big. But I do keep all my letters. All right. If you want to send a letter, there's, uh, yeah, there's the address. It's also in the description and the about page. And I should send new storyteller a letter to cheer him on. Congratulations on ten years on YouTube. So no, I, I haven't sorted them out yet. Still, even since the last video. <laughs> Three boxes of letters. So I get a lot of letters. I appreciate the letters. And usually my thing is I'm giving you the, try to give you a shout out. I know it may not mean a lot coming from a small channel like mine. I'm I'm trying to get better. But um, thank you everybody that sent me letters. Thank you, New Storyteller.